Schneiderman. Does whatever a spider can. Look out. Here comes Schneiderman. G'day Saints fans, welcome back to another episode. This week, as requested by you, Tommy Curran has joined us. Uh, David Armitage, a little bit flatty loss, but congratulations Tom and welcome to the segment. Thanks for having me, pretty happy with the win. Nice, well first we're going to get a few questions from Twitter, from Sayef. If Ablett, Penelbury and Dangerfield were stuck on an island and you could only save one of them, which one would it be? Um, who's the youngest? Paddy Dangerfield maybe, because he's got the more life to live. <laughs> That's fine, mate. Now, to a few Instagram questions. Uh, this one's from Dylan Scott. Can you actually do as many push-ups as Jake King? I'm not bad at push-ups. Um, I reckon I'll back myself in and give him a run for his money. You reckon you can get about 300? Well, I don't know how many of those of his are legit, but I reckon I can go all right. All right I can second that. You're pretty good. Uh, next one from Instagram is from Joel H Hogan. What do you think of garden gnomes? Garden gnomes? Uh, they look good in the garden. <laughs> That's fine. Can you spell gnomes? Yeah. Do you want me to? G N O M E S. Oh, no. Thank you. Good question. Question from Jaden Tones. Who was the toughest opponent you've had to match up on, and how did you prepare yourself for that contest? Um, Paddy Dangerfield was pretty tough. Mark Murphy probably got me. Yeah, just watching a bit of vision um, and getting um, some ideas off the players that have already played against them before. Very good. Another question from uh, Facebook from Jimmy Dore. Are you tall enough to ride the roller coasters yet? <laughs> I'm not even... I'm taller than you. <laughs> that's... I'm taller than you, aren't I? Yeah, you got me. Yeah, okay. That's enough said. Bad question, mate. Sorry, Jimmy. All right, Tom, for everyone out there, tell everyone where you live, uh, where you've grown up and, and a bit about your young days. Um, so I grew up in Frankston, Frankston area, moved to Mount Eliza and played my junior football there as a youngster up until I was about 16. Um, still living at home because um, it's not too far from the club, which is, which is good. Um, living with mum and, uh, and a couple of younger brothers as well and they, they play footy also. And um, yeah, mum looks after the washing and the, and the cooking and that stuff, so it's good. And how old are you now? 21. 21, okay. And you still live at home with mum, yes? Yes. And uh, tell me, do you actually know how to wash any dishes or wash any clothes? Uh, no, I don't probably yet. Can you cook? Not well. <laughs> Can you change a car tyre? I probably need some assistance. <laughs> Can you iron a shirt? Yeah, I iron folds in them. <laughs> nah, I, I, I'm not... What do you do for home to mum, for your mum to help your mum out? Oh, well, heavy shopping bags, you know. She... <laughs> No, that's serious. I'll help her out and, you know... She what, carrying shopping bags? Well, she can't carry them all herself, so myself and the brothers might help her out and get the stuff out of the car. That's serious. <laughs> that's serious. No worries, thanks for that. Now, I'll tell everyone out there an interesting fact about you that nobody knows. I enjoy uh, drinking milk. Probably consume in between... Oh, around about a litre a day, I reckon. Yeah. Full cream or skin? Skin. Every day of the week. That's good. Now, um, tell us about uh, what kind of car do you own? <laughs> <laughs> I own a Holden. A Holden Commodore. Have you uh, scratches on your car? Oh, a little, little dint. Ever had a car crash? A couple. Can you explain one to your neighbour's feds? <laughs> That's a good stitch up, actually. Well, I've only done your homework. Um, yeah, well, okay. So, put into my driveway at home, facing the neighbour's fence, um, to do like a, a bit of a, a reverse U-turn to face my driveway to sort of exit out easy the next morning. Um, as I sort of parked facing the neighbour's fence, I had a sneeze coming and as you do, you put the foot on the brake and oh, ex execute a sneeze. You don't know this, do you? <laughs> I executed a sneeze. How'd that go? Was it a good one? Oh, solid, yeah. <laughs> no, no. And then um, assumed I already put the car in um, in reverse, to reverse back. So I've looked back and put the foot down, it was still in drive, <laughs> and uh, just sort of went through, say good day to the neighbours, <laughs> in the neighbours garden, and um, yeah, that was it really. <laughs> oh, well done, well done, very good. Now, um, a few of the boys have told me a lot about um, yourself, and you've got an Instagram account, do you? Yes, I do. What's your Instagram, Instagram name? Uh, it's just Tommy Curran. Very One good. Now, you, you, we, apparently you really like it a lot. Um, 
you like it that much, in fact, that um, when you go to Saints functions and Oz kick days and clinics days and, and old upside down here to the cameraman, he's there, you always request that he takes a photo of you and tags you in it. Oh, is is right? this true? Uh, probably early days. I said, oh, well, if you need any material, like, I, can, I can help you. So I was trying to help him and, and the club and, and material-wise, but um, no, he's, uh, he's moved past me of late, so a bit disappointing. And you've, um, you've actually done a lot of study on when the best time is to put an Instagram photo up. So you'll prep it, everything, you'll cut it and prop it, and then you put it up at the right time, is true? Uh, have done. Uh, I mean, it's sort of common knowledge, prime time, sort of in between your 5.30 and 8pm. That's when more, the most traffic comes online. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you, if you want good feedback on the photos, that's sort of a, a good time period to put it on. No, very good. And also, mate, you're uh, one of our most uh, at the club who loves the music a lot. Um, you're obviously the best dancer here at the footy club, which we've worked out. We'll see that in a second. But what kind of music are you into, just for everyone out there? Um, I like something with a bit of a beat, so electronic music, house, and uh, something pretty high tempo. So. so I'm tipping you can't probably sing one of them for us, could you? Oh, well, not many of them have words, so <laughs> it's going to be pretty hard. Well, what's one of your favourite songs you reckon you'd sing for us here on the show? Uh, one with words, obviously. Um, yes, Tom. <laughs> well, I've got I've got one that I could sing. Yeah. Oh, why don't you pump out a few for us? All right, hang on a minute. Thank okay, thank you, mate. <clears throat> I'm here without you, baby. You're still on my lonely mind I think about you, baby And I dream about you all the time I'm here without you, baby You're still with me in my dreams And tonight Only you and me Yeah, that is it. <laughs> I'm that. Thanks, Tom. That was fantastic. Well done, mate. Good to see you get right into it too. Well done. Well, as you said, um, you do have a reputation of being one of the best dancers here at the club. Can we get up and get you to see you do us a bit of a dance move? Oh, we could arrange something, yeah, I'm sure. Tell us what you got, mate. Get his prep. And that is it. We're done. That's the way. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. There you have it, Saints fans. Hope you enjoyed Tom Curran. Thanks for joining me, buddy. Thanks, Appreciate man. it. Thank you. There you have it, guys. Uh, Tommy Curran, the bloke with the biggest arms at the club. Hope you enjoyed that. As usual, we're going to ask Tommy who he would like to see next week on the show. Uh, I reckon Clint Jones and Blake Akers. There you have it, guys. Two guys from Perth. So uh, put, we'll put it up during the week and send your vote through. Go the Saints. Schneider man. Does whatever a spider can. Look out. Here comes Schneider man.